Gera, the creator of the Yoga Birth Method. Hopefully you've had an opportunity to read my book, Yoga Birthing, or you've had an opportunity to go onto my website, www.yogabirthmethod.com. We're going to be doing a series of YouTube videos for those of you out there that are either pregnant, that are doulas looking for skills for their bags in order to help their clients have a more yoga birth experience, for midwives that would like to offer more positions to their birthing mothers, uh, and for partners looking for any kind of support. We'll be covering some childbirth education for those of you that are having your first baby. And most importantly, I'm going to be teaching you the yoga birth method uh, sequences over these series. The sequences for the yoga birth method are very specific to labor. This is not a prenatal class or prenatal yoga class series. What this is, is these videos are going to teach you how to go into labor to have the most amazing experience possible. How to work with your baby, how to connect with your partner, and how to deal with your contractions so that you can have the most natural birth experiences possible. But don't worry, if natural wasn't something you were thinking about doing, my book, and hopefully through one of the series, you will pick up some education on understanding intervention, such as epidurals, uh, pitocin, inductions, and things like that. So hopefully you'll tune into all the series and be more educated to having a more yoga birth experience. We're going to start our first series, Introducing the Early Flow. The early flow is what you would be using prior to starting labor. So you could use the early flow through your entire nine months of pregnancy. However, when the big day starts to happen and you start feeling those contractions, you would take the early flow and start applying that to your labor. Now what happens usually in labor is a woman will start to experience contractions for the first time and start to experience a little bit of panic and un uneasiness and wondering, was that a contraction? Is that a contraction? And automatically she starts creating that anxiety of not understanding what's happening to her body. I'm going to do the best I can to sort of eliminate that anxiety and teach you what to expect in labor. So in early labor, you will start feeling these cramps and there will be no rhythmical pattern. So it's very difficult to tell whether or not you're in labor because it's not like one contraction is coming on top of the other. They start to come in a slow process. And those contractions start to feel a little bit like mole hills. I'm gonna show you a picture from my book um, that explains to you what those contractions start to look like over time. In the first stage of early labor, this is what your contractions will start to feel like. It will start to come not so intense and then melt away. And this gap between the next contraction could be 20 minutes, could be 40 minutes, could be an hour. Everybody's labor is different and everybody's frequency in labor is different. Early labor can tend to last anywhere from 12 to 24 hours. So from here, and that's for first time mom, what we need to do is come into our first breathing pattern that will help us to deal with these slight little mole hills. And what we do in the yoga birth method is introduce ujjayi breath. This is the breath you're going to use over your nine months of pregnancy. And then once contractions start, you're going to come into the early flow. The early flow is a setup of about 12 poses that are designed to get the body to move consistently moving up and down, up and down. That movement is really important, seeing that the baby has six cardinal movements that it needs to make in labor. And when mom is on her back or mom is not moving, it makes it really difficult for baby to do its job in labor. So these poses in early labor do very important things. They encourage the baby to move into proper position. They help mom establish a breathing pattern right from the get-go. They help mom to keep moving. Most importantly, these poses are going to help speed up contractions, bringing them closer together, hopefully making them a little longer, and then hopefully making them a little bit more tense. Sounds like something we don't want, but believe me, we want longer, stronger, and closer together contractions so that we have a quicker labor, okay? So let me introduce Liz Gorad, who will be doing our series with us as our model for our yoga birth method. 
Liz is seven months pregnant, going into her 28th week. How are you doing today, Liz? Thanks. I want to point out that Liz has never done any yoga before. So this is a really important fact because anybody can do the yoga birth method. Anybody can use these sequences and breathing techniques in their labor. So let's get started. Let's start first with breath, okay? Ujjayi breath. We call this deep ocean breathing. So what we want to do is get this to breathe in through the nose, out through the nose. And I can hear this breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. Liz has come into her first birthing pose in early labor flow. So once her contractions start, she rolls up her mat and she comes to the mat to start this flow. This flow should take only about 15 minutes. You will see it in a, in a series of different videos as we break it down. But to do the entire sequence is exactly about 10 to 15 minutes. So what I want to point out here is first technique is you need to be careful of your positioning when we're squatting and when we're doing anything on the floor with our hips. As you can see here, Liz's hips are lower than her knees and her belly is sort of squashed into her thighs. So what we want to do is in order to make sure that labor is efficient and baby is working proper position, we need to make sure that the hips actually rise higher than the knees. And this is why having a birth ball, such as one of the birth balls behind me, in labor is so important. Um, so what I want to do is actually raise those hips for Liz so she has more ability to breathe and she has more ability to work with gravity here and now baby can assume head down position over the next few weeks. So again Liz is breathing in and out. So we call this butterfly pose. Partner support aspect. Here's what your partner can do in this butterfly pose. Partner can come up behind mom and then pat mom rest into his knees. So my knees are sort of into the, into the edge of her back and she's just gonna relax down and then bring her arms up and then she's just gonna release. So now your mom has no tension and stress in the neck. She's completely able to breathe by opening up her arms like this, I'm also opening up her lungs, which encourages more breath to the placenta, to the uterus, and also will help deepen the contractions. Her inner thighs are gonna open up a little bit and she can just soften those knees down. So as she's comfortable staying here, when she's ready, we're gonna move her, or what I like to say, float her to the next pose. Her next pose will be her child's pose. Big toes to touch, knees apart. And then here, she just relaxes down. Now over the next few series, be sure to join me because I will be incorporating birthing balls into these poses so that you learn a whole bunch of different methods to use with these poses. Now dad or birthing partner can come up from behind and give her hips a little push back and then just allow the shoulders to completely release. And as I'm pressing down, this is going to help with any contraction pain that she might be feeling in her back. But more importantly, it's going to help softening up her hips and opening up her inner thighs to help baby. Good. So she would stay here for as long as she needs. And then we're going to have her come into her cat-cow. Good. So as she comes into her cat, I'm just encouraging her to lift. Now remember, Breathing deep, releasing the back, and looking up. Good. So as you can see, Liz is going to work through her cat-cow on her own pace here. And she would stay here for as long as possible. So, so far, we've started in butterfly, we've moved to a child's pose, and we're in a cat-cow. Join us for the next series as we continue on with the rest of these poses. Now, if you've had that opportunity, please make sure that you have an opportunity to order my book, Yoga Birthing, and you can get that off of www.yogabirthmethod.com. We also offer trainings and certifications for doulas and yoga teachers looking to apply these into their practice. Join us for the next series.